so far as the most talked subject is about sustainability because a growth without sustainability is no growth today so we are actually investing more in creating uh, green energy we are actually recycling economy is one thing which is uh, in our mind we have already started uh, doing that so sustainability is one thing where we are investing more and so far as social infrastructure is concerned i must tell you that uh, maharashtra is one state which uh, has most number of university and most number of nac accredited uh, institutions mm. so we have iits iims we have uh, institutions of national repute we have uh, largest number of private medical colleges engineering colleges and i think uh, we are adding to that and let's say next 10 years by business usual we'll be adding uh, 50000 uh, beds in our healthcare system but we propose that uh, we want to invest more we want to create uh, a scenario where we create 100000 uh, beds uh, in our system additional beds in our system and uh, i think uh, so far as investment is concerned i must also tell you that uh, uh, on this pillar uh, maharashtra has always been at the forefront and uh, uh, i mean uh, if you look at the fdi figures recently rbi has announced the fdi figures and maharashtra is again number 1 and i must tell you that it's not just number 1 but states like karnataka gujarat and uttar pradesh put together we are number 1 we are more than that so i think uh, on all these aspects uh, maharashtra has created a, a, a road map for 2035 and uh, uh, we had our economic advisory council uh, which was headed by uh, mr chandrashekaran of tata sons and 20 top ceos were part of that council and that council has charted a road map for uh, you know making maharashtra trillion dollar economy so by uh, uh, you know 2032 by business usual will be uh, a trillion dollar economy but we want to fast track it and with this report we feel that by 2029 Maharashtra will be a trillion dollar economy so that is the road map by 2035 Maharashtra will lead the way